Hi, right, so we're back in Onshape and we're going to go ahead and create a loft. Um, and a loft, we're going to need more planes. So a loft, we're going to combine a series of surfaces or a series of 2D areas, right? Uh, that are on parallel planes. Um, and we're going to kind of transition between them. So let's take a look. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose the plane tool here and we're going to select a plane to, uh, we're going to create a parallel plane to the plane that we select. So we're going to click on front and notice that we're going to go ahead and set an offset distance. So in this case, we're going to go uh, six inches and enter. Uh, then we're going to do uh, another plane. Okay, so we're going to click on plane again. We're going to click on the plane that we want to, uh, to copy and then create a parallel copy of it. So let's go ahead and make that offset three inches. Notice that if we want to go down below, uh, we could go negative, um, but we're not going to. Okay, so there's three inches. Okay, now just um, we're going to go ahead and click the green check and let's let's uh, turn off the other planes here just for whoops, just for the sake of visualization here. So now we see that we have this kind of stack of planes. We have this you know a short stack of planes there. And so let's go ahead and start to make some sketches. We need three sketches. So we're going to go ahead and make first sketch on the bottom plane. And let's say that we're going to make a rectangle. Um, and just, you know, you have some experience at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave, uh, not worry too much about making us be able to see it exactly. And let's make that a six uh, by four inches. Okay, now the second, uh, the second um, sketch we're going to make here, let's go ahead and click, click sketch. We're going to click on the plane where we're going to place the sketch. And then we're going to go ahead and, um, and make a circle. Notice that the, the origin highlighted so I know that I'm right, um, I'm right in the middle there. Oops. And we're going to go ahead and uh, dimension that to be, um, and we're going to say we're going to make that two inches there. Okay, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and right click and kind of um, bring this around here and you can see down, uh, you know, if we just, even if we click on the cube, left click on the cube, you can see that it goes right down through the middle there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click the green check to get out of that sketch or to finish that sketch. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create one last sketch up on the top here. Now, you don't need three sketches. Um, you can have as few as two and you can have probably as many as you want. I'm not sure what the limit is. Um, and then this final one, we're just going to create a very small circle here. So we're going to get kind of right in the middle. Let's just put it easy. OK, and we're actually going to make this pretty darn small. Um, oops. Actually, and we're even going to make it kind of a little bit off here. Oops. And we're not going to make it in the middle. We're going to make it a little bit off. Uh, so let's go ahead, just for the sake of a little bit of visual interest here. Okay, so there's our final there's our final circle, and we're just going to make that circle just uh, we're just going to make it very small. So we're going to make it point zero five inches. Okay, so there we have it, and go ahead and click the green check. Okay, so we have our we have our three sketches. We have a, a large uh, rectangle, we have a circle, and we have a very small circle there. Okay, so let's go ahead and click loft. Okay, and all we're gonna go ahead and do is that we're going to go ahead and click through onto these surfaces and it will go ahead and connect them through. And there we have it. So if we scroll back out and notice that I can then go ahead, um, I can uh, bring it back over there. And let's say that we wanted to, uh, let's say we wanted to um, change the um, appearance of this. So um, Onshape, you know, um, has some pretty good materials. You can actually attach a renderer to it, um, but um, you can, for just a, just kind of visual interest, we can go ahead and change the shape, or I'm sorry, we can go ahead and change the um, the um, the appearance of it. We're gonna go ahead and click the green check. We can right click on part one and go to edit appearance. Uh, and then we can say, we can make this, uh, for example, we can make it a nice yellow. 
Um, we can also, whoops, added appearance there. Uh, we can also make it a nice purple. <laughs> Tessellation quality, you can go to fine or very fine, and then click the green check. The other thing that we can do is we can right click and we can assign a, a material to it, which we'll get into later. Um, uh, the material and on shape though has more to do with um, with the um, characteristics of the material and not necessarily the visual uh, makeup of the material. So, okay, uh, so there we have it. There is the loft tool. Uh, best of luck.